C.S. Lewis called romance the religion of love. But for many writers, romance isn't so simple. It is often a confusing experience. Uh, excuse me, Miss Quad, I'm sorry to interrupt. But, um, but I've come to collect my one and only true love. to get that. Pardon me? The AV cart behind you, Mr. Simpson sent me to get it, and um, you're on the cord. Oh. Yeah, you could just move it. <laughs> Mr. Simpson, something terrible has happened to your computer. <sighs> JT, did you email me naked baboon pictures again? It's serious. I think your computer has a virus. You have me going. <laughs> Who did this? So you're not upset that I told everyone you and Mom got engaged? No, it's sweet. Thank you. How does it feel, Mr. Simpson? I mean, to find your one true love? Oh, I just hope one day all of you find someone who truly makes you happy. OK, we still have stuff to learn today. So back to your seats. Who can tell me the size of a kilobit? The ring is so nice. It's a diamond solitaire with a platinum setting. Mr. Simpson, let me help him pick it out. He checked with you before he proposed? No, because Mr. Simpson didn't propose. My mom did. Your mom did? Oh, that's cool. Manny, women can propose too. I know, it's just not as romantic. Because my mom saw what she wanted and went for it? Why not? Hey, girls. I think Craig really likes you. <laughs> then why doesn't he ask me out? Oh, this is torture. Manny, this is just what we talked about. You know what you want, so go for it. Come on, get the kid, get the kid. <laughs> Come on, Jimmy. Yeah, there we go. I can't believe this one's on. Oh, but it gets you so good. My favorite letter is E. E is for Ernest, who choked on a peach. <laughs> you like Edward Gorey? Yeah, I love him. I mean, this stuff's a perfect balance between dark and funny. Quan thought it was too morbid for my book report. So small-minded, huh? Not like me and you. Huh. I'll catch you later. Hey, I wasn't even Come on. <laughs> what do you think of Marco? Kind of cute, I guess. I think he's really cute. <laughs> Which poses the question, cute, nice, smart, still single? Not for long. Hazel's on the case. I think I need help with my math work. Personal email during class time? He's such a rebel, Nash. You know me. 
No, because I had no idea you had a crush on someone. Who? You're embarrassed. No. And you're shy. Ellie Nash. Wow. I've never liked anyone like this before. It's weird. It's love. It's not your business. Shut up. Sorry I'm late. Flat in the men's washroom. Not a pretty picture. For you. Do you like me? Like you? Many. I think I love. I'll see you later. Bye. Craig, I like you. I can't believe I just said that. Well, nice talking to you. Wait! Manny! I, um... I like you, too. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. I'm such a ditz. No, no, it was cute. So, Craig, tonight, wanna catch a movie with them all? Movie? Sure. Oh, you mean with you? I don't know. I'm kidding. I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, you so had me there. I couldn't resist. So pick me up at Emma's, okay? Seven? I'll talk about high and low pressure systems colliding. Yeah, cool. Al? I got this really weird email and it's sort of confusing me. What does it say? S as in secret, I admire. U from A afar, X O bad rhymer. Wow, cryptic. Yeah, well, which is cool, but what does it mean? Someone likes you? Okay. So why tell me like that? Email's anonymous. Afraid of the response, it keeps you a step away. You mean you do that too? Telling someone you like them's hard. Yeah. Yeah, it is. No, B Bianca, I'm sorry. It, it didn't work out, okay? It's over. You have to stop calling me now. All right, goodbye. <sighs> Should have ended it weeks ago. Let that be a lesson. What are y'all dressed up for? A date. My first. Hey, congratulations. So you finally asked that uh, Ashley girl out? Well, no. Um, Manny asked me out. Manny? Isn't she a bit young for you? She's 11 months, Joey. She's 11 months younger. All right, age ain't nothing but a number. Look at Mr. Moo Moo, Craig. Mr. Moo Very nice. So, she asked you out, huh? Check out Craig, super stud. Takes after his stepdad. Just be back by 10. Okay, I'm serious. Hello? So you know what to say if my parents call. Manny, we've been through it. And what if your mom comes home? She's out till 11 with Mr. Simpson. Don't worry. <laughs> So, Craig doesn't have a chance. <laughs> I'm trying not to freak, but Craig's the first boy who's ever liked me. And he won't be the last, okay? <laughs> stay here, stay here, stay here! Give me a look at Hey, uh, I heard screaming. That was TV.
Anthony, you, you look incredible. You too. Oh, uh, I almost forgot. This is for you. That is too picture perfect. Smile. You ready for a date? I am so ready. So what happened? At first, I was so nervous. Then, I got into it. And by the end, I just knew Craig was the one. So your girlfriend boyfriend now? It's official you talked to Craig? No, but I don't think I have to. I just know. Guess that's what falling in love is all about. <laughs> Check out the quiet man. Yeah, dude, that hasn't said a word all day. Sorry, I, um, I got a lot on my mind. Ah, <laughs> uh, I get it. Craig is lost in love with Lil Miss Santos. Must have been a seriously hot date. Hot? No, I, I'd say the best way to describe our date is bizarre. The only way to describe our date was magical. I thought we'd just go to the mall, see a movie, anything special. And then we get there, and... Oh my gosh, the carnival is on. So you don't want to see the movie? And miss all this? I love the balloons and the clowns. Look, and the cotton candy. It's so delicious. I know, it's so delicious. Uh, one cotton candy, please. No, no, it's for you. Don't be silly. And then the most incredible thing happened. My fingers brushed his lips. I thought I would die. Maybe you can help figure it out. Manny looked so awesome, and I was happy to be with her. But then... The carnival is on! Wait, so we're not gonna see the movie? And miss all this? I love the balloons and the clowns. <gasps> Look! <laughs> And the con candy. Yummy, yum, yum. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yummy, yum, yum. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's for you. Don't be silly. The cotton candy incident. <laughs> she nearly choked me with it. Look on the bright side, dude. If it was a candy apple, you would have been dead. You think that's funny? Yeah. They're gonna love this. Woo! We have go, a winner. Craig, go! Stay bald toss tomorrow the world. You're like, I don't know, the next famous pitcher guy or something. This is for you. Oh, this is the best. It's so cute. His name is Wardy Horse. I've already got Piggy Pig and Lemmy Lamb and you know the fluffy fluff collection. I thought she'd never stop talking. This is the best gift. Thanks, Craig. Am I talking too much? What? No, it's just... It's your turn to win me whatever. Just, okay. just try not to throw it too hard, okay? Oh. Oh, 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 Craig, I am so sorry it's I hurt you. No, it's, it's okay. Then I looked into her eyes and I saw how beautiful she was. I mean, the thing is, I do like her. It's just, she's a bit young. Only by a year, dude. We want to know the real reason I couldn't kiss her? She reminds me of my five-year-old half-sister. Right. Um, that's, that's messed up. Yeah, that's so really that. weird. Well, yeah. I know, that's that's the problem, because 
because she's also really sweet. So, what do I do? I can't believe he bought you a rose. Craig is a true romantic. I just wish your date had ended better. <laughs> Why? What happened? More like what didn't happen. Today, ball toss, tomorrow in the world. This is for you. Oh, this is the best, my favorite thing. Because you want it. Thanks, Craig. Am I talking too much? Not at all. It's your turn. Just uh, try not to throw it too hard, okay? Okay. Oh, dear. Oh. <laughs> That's smart. <laughs> I, I am so no, it's sorry. okay. It's okay. Um, it's okay. I'm really, really, really spree. <laughs> to get you home. I'll bet he wanted to. He just wanted to get you back to my house on time, which I think is cool. Absolutely. Craig has my two favorite qualities, passion and punctuality. That's why he's my guy. OK. That was a good analysis of print ads, everyone. You're getting the hang of reading the underlying sales message. So let's move on to TV commercials. Most of us may see them as an opportunity to get a snack, but TV advertising can reap huge profits. I've taped three commercials, one for laundry detergent, one for the latest luxury vehicle, and the last for athletic shoes. While you're watching, pay special attention to the images, how they've been shot and edited. Manny. Hey, you. Where you been? Did you miss me? I missed you. Everybody's talking about us. Yeah, they say we're Degrassi Todd's new couple. Yeah. I'm embarrassed, too, people talking like this. But I had such an amazing time. The carnival, the gift, it was like the best night of my life. And all because of you. Great. Well, I'll see you later. Great. Bye. That was weird. Maybe Craig's not really into this. No, no, he's just moody. Maybe you should slow down, you know, before you get hurt. No, he just needs cheering up, which I'm great at. Hey, what are you doing? Nothing. Because I was supposed to meet Hazel and... I know. Yeah? I kind of know firsthand, actually. Oh, have you been the one writing me? calling to tell me about your sudden case of amnesia. No. I wish I had amnesia. Don't take rejection well. Ellie, turn around. I didn't reject you. Felt like it. Well, of course it did. You didn't let me finish. But you were... I was going to meet Hazel to tell her that well, to tell her that she's not my type. I mean, I go for cool, alternative. Girls like Ellie Nash. Oh. Such an idiot. No. If you were, would I still ask you out? For C, as in coffee?
I was photography club. Fine. What happened to my locker? I thought it might cheer you up. I, uh, hope I'm not interrupting. Um, you said you wanted to sign this? Yeah, this is the petition protesting GM Foods, right? GM Foods? Stands for genetically modified. Does that make them good? I'll see you later, Craig. I don't think you should talk to her anymore. Uh, she's in my class. So, what are we doing Friday night? You're moody again. Is it your locker? You don't like it? No. Manny, I'm sorry, but it's not my locker I don't like. It's you. Ha <laughs> ha